Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to worship. It's good to see Leticia back and Terrence back and Judy and Don Beaver. Um, welcome to everyone worshiping online. We're glad that you're spending Sunday morning with us. Um, this is yesterday's Westwood United Methodist Church um, devotional. If you've never picked one up, you should pick one up. They're just outside the um, sanctuary doors at the Welcome Center. And um, it was so perfect for the start of worship today that I'm just going to read just a, a few sentences of it. Thomas Carlyle said, Worship is transcendent wonder, wonder for which there is no limit or measure, that is worship. It's standing in amazement of the creator and his creation. It's thanking God for splendid sunrises and dazzling stars and unique snowflakes. The sunrise is so consistent that we take it for granted, but few things are as miraculous as the celestial dance that takes place on a daily basis. The earth spins on its axis at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour. And while, rotate, and while it rotates 360 degrees on its axis every 24 hours, it is also hurtling through space at an unimaginable 67,000 miles per hour. You may not have any big plans for today, but you will travel 1.6 million miles in your annual lap around the sun. Quite an accomplishment. So take time to wonder and worship God. Welcome to worship service. Let's worship and wonder today. Okay, and we do have a few announcements. Good morning, Kabamba. Good morning. C'est une invitation à l'adoration, moment d'adoration. Être dans la présence de Dieu. C'est un, un bref ce qu'elle vient de dire. Just in summary, to invite the person, people who do not speak um, English. Do I see Bijou? Okay, some people are still in the parlor. Mm -hmm. It's time for worship. <laughs> Sister, Cheryl, please bring the people who are in the parlor. Ask them to come in the worship. Thank you. I love you so much, my sister. Good morning, everyone who is here and those who are online. We love you in the name of Jesus. Okay, so Lenten Bible study. The Lenten Bible study kicked off this past week with a discussion on hope for the world. You can read a summary recap of the study in your bulletin or in the At the Forest newsletter. And you can still join us even if you missed last week. We meet on Wednesdays from 11 o'clock till noon in the parlor. Okay, Sunday morning Bible study. Pastor Kabamba is leading a Bible study during the season of Lent, separate from the Wednesday Lenten study days on Sunday morning. It's on Sunday mornings from 9 a.m. to 9.45 in the library. It was just the two of us today. We had a great discussion, but come join us next week so it's not just the two of us. No offense, Pastor, but we want more people, right? That's right. If you look in your bulletins under the worship series section, you'll see that there are typically four or five scripture verses listed. Since we usually only do one reading aloud together in the service, Pastor is hosting this Bible study to read through those remaining passages. And she taught me a lot today. She opened my eyes. So join us in prayerful study to gain context for each Sunday's gospel reading. If you miss a Sunday, just hop in the next. And then we do have a connect card reminder. Whether you are new to Forest Chapel or have been here for years, we care about you and want to strengthen relationships with both members and guests. Pastor Kabamba would like to encourage everyone to fill out a connect card, which can be found in the bulletins located in front of the sanctuary doors. If you are a guest with us, we would really love for the opportunity to keep in touch with you. And if you're a member, we would appreciate any updates you have 
to your contact information. And for everyone, we would love the opportunity, opportunity to pray for you. Here at Forest Chapel, we believe in the power of prayer, and it would be our joy to lift you up in this way. So you can place those Connect cards in the collection plates or place it in the lockbox slot in the office. We're looking forward to hearing from you. And I have one more thing before we begin to worship, and that is we've been thinking so much about Jim Dunn, who lost his brother Dick, and that is such, by the way, an amazing picture of Dick in the, I can see how you guys are brothers, and that was just a a, a neat um, tribute to, I read his obituary, and he sounds like just an amazing man. Um, but Jim has another loss, and he asked me to read this this morning, and I told him I would be glad to. His good friend, Vince Pecorero, who was 84, passed away at his Florida home. Vince was well known for coaching his outstanding soccer teams, and he was elected to Forest Park Sports Hall of Fame. He attended his players' annual reunion last fall when the players invited and honored their parents. Players related to Forest Chapel include Mickey Dunn, Stephen Dunn, Mike Dunn, Guy Dills, and Dave Ottaway. So let's keep um, Vince and his family and, of course, Jim at the loss of his brother and now his friend in our prayers. Does anybody else have an announcement this morning? I did, but I think you were out getting the coats. We have uh, two who are here for the first time. That is Bijou and Victoria. Oh, yeah. Nous disons, soyez les bienvenus. Uh, Forest Chapel. Welcome, welcome. Returning guest, uh, Leticia, c'est pour la deuxième fois. Deuxième fois ou troisième fois? Troisième fois. Deuxième fois. If you remember, Kent Smith highly recommended her to come to Forest Chapel months ago, and she came. And I've kept in touch with her. And please keep her in your prayer. She has a four. Uh, quel age a Shana? Shana? Cinq ans? Uh, cinq. Uh, five years old. Has been in the hospital. She's out, but um, we hugged and she broke and started crying. So only God knows what she's going through. Let us pray for her. And we have um, Jaren who is here, she, this is not the first time she's here. She was here several times years ago, and she is Evelyn and um, uh, Liz's niece. So we welcome you, and we love you. Come back. Great. Thank you. Please join in our opening hymn, number 710, Faith of Our Fathers. We'll sing all three verses. <laughs> Faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeon fire and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy when. 
You stood before creation, eternity in your hand. You spoke the earth into motion, my soul now to stand. You stood before my failures and carried the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon your shoulders, my soul now stands. So what can I say? What can I do but offer this heart, oh God, completely to you? So I walk upon salvation, your spirit alive in My life to declare your promise, my soul now to stand. So what can I say? What can I do? But offer this heart, oh God, complete. What can I say? What can I do? But offer this heart, oh God, completely to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mon cœur, je l'offre à toi, Seigneur Dieu. Je suis à toi, ô oh Seigneur. I surrender all. My heart, I offer to you. We surrender all. Bless us with a moment of worship. In the spirit, t'adorer en esprit, oh Dieu Tout-Puissant. Je viens à toi, tel que je suis. Je viens à toi. 
Just as we are, we surrender all. Have your way, God. Have your way. Empty us. Save us from who we are. And fill us with your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Tu nous connais, oh Seigneur. Tu connais mon cœur. Tu connais nos cœurs. Nous venons à toi. Merci, Seigneur. We are ready. Fill us with your spirit. Nous sommes prêts maintenant. Remplis-nous de ton Esprit Saint. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all say, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Children's moment. Yes. Do you like storms? No. Do you like storms? Do you? It just depends. Maybe. Do you like when things are chaotic? No. Do you like when things are chaotic? No. Yeah. Me neither. On Tuesday, when I was at work, and I work in a hospital, the power went out because a transformer blew. Do you know what a transformer is? It's a very important part of electricity, and if it blows like it did when I was, work, was at work, the power goes out. And when you're in a hospital and the power goes out, that's not always good. It's never good. But the good thing about being in a hospital when the power goes out is that there is a plan. They have generators and they have other things in place to make sure people are okay. So nobody has to panic. And you know what happened when the power went out at work? Everybody panicked. Uh-oh. At least where I work, because it's not part of the hospital where the patients are, some of my coworkers were like, oh my gosh, the power is out. What are we going to do about the patients on the ventilators? And I had to explain to my coworkers, I said, hey, Judy, see on the wall, there's a red box where you can plug things in. That's a special plug. So when the power goes out, whatever is plugged in there will be okay. And she went, okay. And then I sit down at my desk, and I pull out my phone, and then I hear Judy in another room going, oh my God, the power is out, what are they gonna do about the patients on the generators? And then I hear someone else explain to her the same thing that I did, like, they'll be fine, they'll be okay. And so I'm sitting there talking to my coworkers, we're in the dark, and then Judy comes in, and she's just walking really fast, and her hair is flying everywhere and she's panicking still. And she goes, what are we gonna do? Oh. And so I find the one computer in our office that's plugged into the red outlet and I show her, see this computer, it's still working. And she's like, okay. And I said, everyone upstairs that's on a ventilator, they're plugged into a red plug. They're okay. It's going to be fine for them. And the power finally came on after 45 minutes, and she finally calmed down. But we all said, Judy, it's okay. We're in a hospital. There is a plan. Even though down here it's dark and we have nothing to do, it's okay upstairs. They are okay. And in today's scripture, you see Jesus telling the disciples that it's about to become very chaotic and some things will happen, but it will be okay. And you see one of the disciples go, oh, my gosh, Jesus, no, you're going to do this, and this, and this, and it will be, you have to do this. And he says, no, 
I have a plan. There is a plan in place. Everything is okay. So as you go about this week and the rest of the week and the months and the year to come, when things get chaotic, just know that there is a plan in place and everything will be okay. God's got you. All right? I'm going to say a prayer, and you can all repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for the plan you have in place. Help remind us to trust in you when there is chaos. Amen. over Jordan and what did I see? Water carry me home A band of angels coming after me Coming for to carry me to carry me home tell all my friends I'm coming to coming for to carry me home sometimes down Coming for to carry me home. but still my soul feels heavenly bound coming, coming for to carry me
Jim, just think that sweet chariot has now brought your brother Dick home, and that sweet chariot has now brought your friend Vince home. And before we read today's scripture, let us first have a prayer of illumination. Dear Lord, help us to hear your voice this morning speaking to each of our hearts. Open our eyes to see Jesus in your word. Thank you for all you have done for us and help us to walk in your ways. Illumine our hearts and help us to serve you. You have placed every one of us in this time in history. Mm -hmm. And you have placed every one of us in this specific place on the earth. And you have given each and every one of us a purpose, mm -hmm. your purpose. Help us to die to sin and to self and to serve you alone. Help us to praise the name of Jesus forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. The My gospel, sister, yes. Before you read, I have an invitation. As my sister will be reading, get into the text and try to be Peter or one of the disciples. Lorsque notre sœur sera en train de lire les Écritures saintes, je nous invite d'entrer dans le texte. Essayez d'être Pierre ou bien quelqu'un dans la foule. I think it's good in life to be slow to speak and quick to listen. But Peter was often quick to speak, which we are about to see. All right. The gospel according to Mark, the eighth chapter, verses 31 to 38. Oh, and if you are able, thank you. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. You guys keep me on track. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and he rejected and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. But turning, and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? The word of God with the people of God. You may be seated. I'm going to do my best since today I have the pastor, coffee with the pastor at 11.45 for 30 minutes. So I invite you. I'm thinking library, no, parlor is just fine. Um, we, we shall see. But before that, let's go to, um, I have hard time finding titles because there are so many lines in scriptures. So which one do you pick? So I call this 
what kind of Messiah is this? It's chaotic. They need somebody who is going to come and save them. The Roman Empire is so heavy on everyone. Then comes this person who is Jesus. In verse 32, well, Jesus starts by saying what you heard. The son of man is going to come. He's going to suffer. He's going to be rejected and healed. A Messiah to go through this? And who is going to reject this Messiah? The elders, the chief priests, the scribes, religious fo folks are going to do this. And then he said all of this quite openly. We hear. Now, est-ce que vous avez la traduction en français? Vous avez vos Bibles en français? Vous suivez? Très bien. 32 is so, I mean, it took my breath. This is the first time. And I've been reading the Bible, but I read it closely in the Greek, and I saw the word that is really uh, that 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 really intriguing. Um, the openly, that word in the way it's used there, here in the English is correct because a verb is begin to. Or something. But that same verb used somewhere else, it has the meaning of rule. To rule over. So I read, because I use Bible works to do the word study, and this it says an attitude of openness that's stems from freedom and lack of fear in speech boldness, plainness, outspokenness. That is Jesus. With all of this, speaking like that, If you go to where this same word is used, that Mark chapter 4, verse 40, I will read it. The French says, Puis il leur dit, Pourquoi avez-vous ainsi peur? Comment n'avez-vous point de foi? English, since the Spanish is not here, I was prepared, so I go, to, I go to English. He said to them, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? It has to do with faith. Now, we go back to today's scripture. And Peter took him and began to rebuke. Teacher, Amy, you are a teacher. You're teaching, and then a student takes you aside and starts rebuking you. <laughs> That's gutsy. Oh, my God. So Jesus called them and said to them, no, this was, Mark 10, 42, 
okay? Um, that's another place where you see this uh, word. Now, in verse 32, after this student dares to challenge the teacher, the teacher, Jesus, turns, look at the action verb, and looked at his disciples and rebuked Peter and said, Oh my God, do you hear what Jesus is saying to Peter? Get behind me, who? For you are setting your mind, talking about mindset. Where is your mindset? Not on divine things, but on human things. How? Where is your mindset? Tes pensées sur les choses divines ou bien sur ce qui est humain? Tes pensées. Now, He turns to the crowd now with his disciples and said, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. Now, you see what's going on here? Boldness, Jesus. Now, the Peter that you see here is going to become just like Jesus and follow Jesus. If you read Acts chapter 2, you are going to see that Peter is going to do what Jesus just did. Turn to the crowd and he preached. Peter did the same thing in chapter 2. Lorsque tu as Jésus, tu as même cette audace de parler la parole de Dieu Avec puissance, Pierre l'a fait en acte des apôtres chapitre 2. Il a parlé, vous vous rappelez, vous lisez la Bible, n'est-ce pas? Alors, je veux vous entendre. Vous lisez la Bible, non? Oui. We read the Bible. You see what Jesus, is, uh, what Peter is doing in chapter 2 of Acts. This is Jesus setting the example. When you have encountered Jesus, <laughs> something happened. You are able to say, I woke up this morning with my mind, and it was. Yeah. Oh, yes! With a mind stayed on Jesus, you have a GPS. God will show you where to go. He will lead you. Lead me. Guide me. For if you lead me, I can know. Thank you, Jesus. Nice to see you. Just Jesus is doing. The disciples are seeing what Jesus is doing because they're going to do it in chapter 2 of Acts. And then Jesus continues to say, um, those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for the sake, for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, save it. What does it mean? I don't know how to translate this to you. I just, all I know is that just live in Jesus, you will understand what Jesus is saying here. Live in Jesus, 
you will see how your priorities will change. Live in Jesus. You will see that you will spend time listening to the one who died. Hello, people of the church. When you find yourself spending too much time doing church work, then you spend time listening to Jesus. Something wrong. Lorsque tu passes tout le temps en train de faire le travail de l'église et pas le temps de parler avec celui qui t'a appelé. La prière. Il y a un secret. That's a good recipe for chaos. And Jesus goes, I'm going to go just to the end. Jesus says, those who are ashamed of me and of my word in this adulterous and sinful generation of them, the son of man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Paul said that. Je n'ai point honte de l'évangile. Because it's the power of God. Je n'ai point honte de l'évangile. C'est une puissance de Dieu. Je n'ai point honte de l'évangile. C'est une puissance de Dieu. Pour le salut de quiconque croit. Pour le salut de quiconque croit. I have no shame of the gospel. For, for there is the power. For those who believe. Now. What kind of Messiah is this? He is a Messiah who's going to suffer. He's the Messiah who's going to be rejected. He's the Messiah who's going to be killed, but he will rise again and live in you and in me. The Messiah is in you. Quel sorte de Messiah est celui-ci? C'est celui qui va souffrir. Il sera rejeté. Il va mourir. Mais le troisième jour, il sera ressuscité et vit en toi. Il vit en toi. He loved. We have five minutes. Nous avons cinq minutes. Victoria, est-ce que je peux te surprendre? Est-ce que tu peux chanter? Un peu. Tu peux? C'est que tu avais chanté dans le magasin. Est-ce que tu peux? Tu as honte? Tu peux venir? Merci. I was walking in the store. Um, Nepalese grocery, I go there all the time. I saw this girl and I was like, Nepalese have black people? Because I'm the only one, I think, who goes there. Who goes there. It was a Muslim there. We talked and I heard her. She was speaking a language that they know. And I said, she said something in the and, and she mentioned music. I said, oh, you can sing. She says, yes. And I asked her to sing it in the store. Jesus, tu as the parole de la vie. Jesus, you are the word of life. Jesus, tu as the parole de la vie. Jésus, tu as les paroles de la vie. Oh, mon roi, tu as les paroles de la vie. 
God is good, and she loves the, Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, and doesn't have a church yet. Only God knows where we're going. The place has changed. We are so many here, so many nationalities, and Forest Chapel is a place where everyone who comes feels the love of God. Beloved. How is your mindset on the divine or on the human? God has given you a divine appointment. Where is God sending you? You have a divine appointment. Now, during this time of Lent, Please listen where God is sending you. Tu y as un rendez-vous divin. Dieu t'a appelé malgré le chaos. Dieu t'a appelé pour aller où? Pour faire quoi? Écoute. Just pay attention. Listen. Dear God, we want to thank you, Seigneur. Nous te remercions. You are God. You called us by our name, each one of us. Tu nous connais, tu nous as appelé chacun, chacune, par son nom. Guide our steps in your word. Conduis nos pas dans ta parole. Now we come with those who are heavy heart. Is your heart heavy? Bring it to the Lord. Laisse ton cœur lourd. Ouvre-le devant le Seigneur. And now, dear God, we have shut ears. We have the sick. You know where they are. We lift them up to you. In your mercy, Lord, you are a God of mercy. Nous prions pour ceux qui sont malades. Seigneur, tu es Dieu. And now, I have this one coat for a girl who's five years. Dear God, bless Shana. Touch her. Señor Dieu, j'ai ce cadeau pour Shana qui vient de Forest Chapel United Methodist Church. Nous prions pour Shana. Touche her de ses parents. Pour ta gloire au siècle des siècles. And now let us all pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, que ton règne tu que ta volonté soit au ciel comme au ciel. Comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Oh, Dieu, nous te 
Amen. Amen. And at this moment, we give the offering. Nous allons donner les offrandes. There is a plate. I'm sorry. Oh, Lord, have mercy. in the presence of God, just using it metaphorically. We came in one accord. Nous sommes venus uh, devant Dieu sur cette montagne. Et je l'utilise métaphoriquement. Nous sommes en présence de Dieu. And now go into the world knowing that you glow. You have the light, Jesus, knowing that you have the boldness of access to that you learn from Jesus, that Jesus looks into you. C'est que tu as la puissance de Dieu en toi. Go, use it. Allez. Et mettez ça en pratique. Au nom du Père et du Fils et du Saint-Esprit. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we'll carry out the light. It's all right.
Christ. 